Slim, why are you posting that and ruining the surprise? Shut up, you fucking snitch. I actually think, chat, I'm, I'm going to do more fighter interviews. That's what I'm going to do. Because I think, I was listening back to the interview today. I think I do the best fighter interviews, dude. I'm joking. No, I don't. But um, I don't know. I think it's a little different when I'm talking to fighters because I can joke with them. You know what I'm saying? I can, I can say that they look in a fight and they'll accept it's funny to them in a way. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe it's not better, but it's just a different style of interview where they don't just, I'll check them if they say some, you know, I got to be up early tomorrow. You know what I did earlier today, chat? Dumbest, fattest moment I've ever had in my life. I spent 15 minutes looking on Just Eat for an Uber. And I'm not even joking about that either, you know. I actually feel like it was about 20 minutes. Not even joking about that. Fattest, dumbest moment of my life. I spent literally 15 to 20 minutes looking for an Uber on Just Eat. Insane. Insane. Don't know what I was doing. Just scrolling through Just Eat, like, where's the Uber? <laughs> where's the Uber? Just going past chicken shops and pizza shops. Don't know what I was doing. Snapped out of it and just ordered an Uber after that. Would you interview Kevin Holland? No. No, I wouldn't. I, I need a reason to interview. That's what I think should stay. Right, chat? Whenever I do an interview, yes or no, chat, if, you know, since I've done it with Moicano and Pimlet and Drick is Duplessis. There's like a moment you guys want to hear us talk about. I don't know if me and Holland have that interaction. You know, like people are excited for the Pimlet interview because they know we'll talk about the Gordon fight and Molly McCann and I've trashed him before. So we'll see what happens. Same thing about the um, Drick is Duplessis interview. They knew we would talk about Israel Adesanya, Ariel Hawani. I, I need like some kind of tie to a fighter. Jamal Hill, I would do an interview with. But um, I guess we'll wait for his next fight to do that. Don't be a puss and pick him because of this interview. No, no, I didn't. I didn't pick him because of the interview. I think he's underrated, though. Jim Miller dropped Bobby Green. Tony Ferguson dropped Bobby Green. Pimlet didn't get dropped by Tony. And he didn't shoot the takedown in the first round either. Just saying. I don't think it's that cut and dry like, oh, Bobby Green is just going to win. Like, no. Thank you for the 11 months of membership. Actually crazy that Chandler's about to fight in December. Bro literally wasted his entire career where he could have been improving, but probably just losing. I mean, at least he would have been making money. But if he does get the McGregor fight in the end, it is actually worth it because what else was he going to do? Chandler acts like if it wasn't for McGregor, he would have been fighting for titles. That's not the case. If it weren't for McGregor, Chandler probably would have been fighting Dariush, Fiziev, Jalen Turner, uh, you know, Dan Hooker in a rematch. Like there's. Moicano, like, he would have been fighting down the rankings, which would have been risky for not a lot of a reward for him. <laughs> Build best MMA fighter of all time with these categories, boxing, kickboxing, or kicking, wrestling, BJJ, chin, cardio, power, IQ, speed. Kicking, Sean O'Malley. Boxing, Peter Yam. Wrestling, Islam Makashev. BJJ, Paul Craig. No. Yes. Chin. Paul Craig. No, Marvin Vittori. Cardio. Max Holloway. Power. Anyone? Nganu. IQ. Not Nganu. Um, IQ Volkanovsky. No, not IQ because he's in the cage. He's a genius outside of it. He's a re... IQ. Demetrius Johnson. Speed. Uh, Cody Garbrandt. Fastest hands ever. Audience. Location. Channels your audience watches. The Mac Life is the most. Lucas Tracy MMA is second. Full Mount MMA. The Weasel. Demetrius Johnson. MMA Central, all my clip channels, Freestyle Bender, DC, Volk's channel, Bisping's channel, Bedtime MMA. Um, not many from Germany. Brazil is now my fifth most. United States is 41%. The UK is 11%. Australia is 6%. Canada's 5.5%. 
Brazil's 2%. Germany is 1.3% of my viewership. South Africa is now 1.3 since I went to meet Drew Drickers du Plessis. Ireland is only 1.2, but there's barely any Irish people. So that's probably why. And most Germans don't speak English or German these days. Thank you for the $5. Truly shocking to see a section of the population convinced that the right was set, the right ear gate was set up like this is some action movie. They're making AI bots. You know what's crazy? A guy died at that shooting, yeah, by being hit by a bullet that missed Trump and died. And you know what's funny? The le I'd, I'm from out of America, yeah, but here's the way I see it. The left went after Alex Jones for saying Sandy Hook shooting was a fake rigged shooting to send a political message for the left. And they went after him saying that people were crisis actors and the whole thing was fake because someone died. Whereas they're saying that Trump shooting was fake. There's crisis actors and the person actually died there. So they're literally Alex Jones and they sued him for a billion for that. When these lefties are doing exactly the same thing that he did, which is insane. But yeah, it is what it is. But it, do you know what it is, chat? You, it's not about anything. It's just um, most people on the left are socialites and socialites these days um, where they just live a very social circle heavy life. They just take the politics of least resistance and that's all it is. It's nothing too personal. So do Republicans. Yeah, Republicans are gay as well we're scared to say how it is just be racist like it's so f lame watching them see foot and tiptoe around like people would respect them way more if they just said what they actually think but it is what it is all politicians are gay this is the problem with the world our leaders are gay we are in trouble alex jones knew he was lying though and admitted it that's tough UK is not worse. UK is way worse than the US. Why are you complaining about migrants in the UK when the UK literally ruled over those migrants is only fair? Because when the UK did it, we rocked up on the beaches on smoke, outnumbered, and ruled the country, natural selection. We didn't pretend to be refugees at a rate of 80% male between the ages of 18 to 25 to take over a country. We're not being invaded. He's put acting like refugees, and there's no women on the boats. It's the poorest way ever of taking over a country, ever. But hopefully in 100 years, uh, the world will remember who the real chads were when they took over countries and who the p were that pretended to be migrants and refugees. Who knows? Once again, Guru proving why everyone from England saw us. How were we saw if we conquered your bit people? We are soy now, though, because we've been nerfed over the past couple generations. But you can't call people from England soy if we dog walked your great grandparents. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>